What's up guys, Nepenthes here and welcome back to another FIFA 20 video. Yesterday, um, ooh, Fumus Bulyala, Bulaya, damn, what do you need to do? Scoring a rival's win with a French league player, score using Algerian players in squad battles, score six goals with five star skillers in rivals, Score a finesse shot with a League One player and three separate rivals wins. Not bad, EA. Not bad. Um, now, I don't know what this player is like. We're going to go and have a look at him. Good to see there's a new season objective, EA. I'm a big fan of that. Big fan of that. Um, next up. Um, yeah, hopefully a milestone. If there's a milestone. Yeah, yesterday, obviously, Mendy and, um, Mendy and uh, Davidson Sanchez were around. They left uh, very much heavy debates. There's no new milestones. Is there going to be a new league SBC? Uh, I want to have a look at that Bulliala card. Um, let's go to leagues. Come on, EA, man. Give us, give us a ninth league. Come on. Nope. Still nothing, man. Still nothing. Uh, is there anything new in live? Nope. That's all the same as well. And so Footmus. So no loan for either of these. Only one squad needed. The good old Renato Sanchez. Um, high, high work rates, four-star weak foot, three-star skill moves. Off the face of it, just straight away, this card looks nice. Uh, it will be heavily dependent on um, what objectives are required for him. Now, what I love about this card is he's got good pace for a centre mid and well-rounded shooting in general right he's got great shot power good long shots and then okay stats everywhere else I, I really like his passing combination already really good short pass good long pass and okay vision i like his dribbling a lot he's got high agility obviously extremely high balance reactions and composure a bit meh but ball control and dribbling are very nice his defending is well rounded his physicals are well rounded that's a nice card. Uh, we'll go and have a look on Futbin in a second for what we can do with that card and, and where I would recommend playing it and what chem styles I'd recommend using for it. Uh, and he requires an 83 rated squad with an inform. I'm a big fan of that. I, I, th I think that's worth it. I think that's worthwhile for a Futmus card. And then there's Herding Lozano. I mean, great pace. Good at like top tier agility, reactions and ball control and dribbling are nice. Composure is okay. This is a tricky one, right? Because his shooting's not great and his passing's not great and his dribbling's not great. Uh, so you could put a maestro on him. I it, like there's a lot to be said about this card though because he has high low work rates. That is great. High low are brilliant. Four star skill moves is very nice. Three star weak foot. Depends on his uh, traits. If he has outside the foot shot trait, we can work with a three-star weak foot. Um, honestly, with all the cards we've seen, I think that this is going to be an 84 or an 85 rated um, team. But if if this card was on the market, if you thought of this as not a Futmus card, but a gold card, think of Calais on, right? An 84 rated. This card would be like 6 to 10k on the market at absolute most. Uh, in my opinion, of course. And so let's have a look at his objectives. If it's an 83 or lower, I'd still say for the novelty, for the Futmus card, for the fact that it'd be first owner. Okay, do you know what, EA? Fair enough, man. An 83 rated for Lozano, banging. Uh, an 83 rated with an inform for, um, for uh, what's his name? Renato Sanchez, banging. So let's have a look what Futbin have got to say. Uh, first of all, we'll have a look at Renato. Um lots of good links for like the EA have done I, I said this on stream the other day EA have done a good job this year of actually giving a lot of random useful players from from different leagues which is nice so Renato Sanchez guys an anchor is good it th this is one of those ones where it only says he's an 86 CDM but because of the way FIFA plays he's got a lot of stats that are really good for that um you could play him up front I wouldn't recommend it. A dead eye makes him a great cam. Um, with that agility and balance, with that stamina and aggression, he actually wouldn't be a bad cam. It's that reactions and composure that really kind of turns me off. Um, and that's going to be a hard one to improve on. An artist makes him a brilliant centre mid. Insane dribbling. Great passing. Good shooting from outside the box. A nice set of defending stats for a centre mid. 
You know, if you used him as a secondary CDM or as a box to box midfielder, that wouldn't be too bad. Um, Architects, I'm not really interested in. Powerhouse, I'm not really interested in. Maestro, I'm not really interested in. Engine has its merits, boost passing, pace, and dribbling. Problem is, is he doesn't have four star skill moves. Not that there's too much of an issue because three star, it, like in, in FIFA 20, you either need three star or five star. Four star is really largely irrelevant. Um, and I say that because of the useful skill moves uh, lateral heel to heel flick, heel to heel flick, ball roll, step over, roulette. They're all three star. And then the next useful skill moves, the um, elastico, reverse elastico, and what was the other five star skill moves I use? Can't remember. Um, they're five star skills. So they're, in my experience, other than the stop and turn, which is hit and miss anyway, the four star skill moves aren't really that valuable this year. So three stars, okay. Um, Sentinel does okay for him. Guardian, Gladiator, Backbone, Anchor, Shadow. I mean, what would I put on this card? If I, if I were to have this, I'd probably put an anchor on this card and play him as a secondary CDM. He's got good passing, good dribbling, nice defending and physical, great physical, and then good pace. For an 83 rated squad with an inform, and again, based on the amount of cards that we have in the League One available um, as special items, that Di Maria if you did it, Cavani if you did it, obviously Mbappe and Neymar are available. Uh, you've got some great backline players, that says Fabregas is there. Uh, Depay, like th there's literally loads and loads of quality players um, for for you guys to take take in. Atal, uh, obviously you can link um, him to Atal. Uh, Mendes, Simon, loads of quality cards, uh, which is really really nice. Um, next up, we have got Herving Lozano. Now, as I say, I, I think I know what chem style I place on him. I think I'd put a dead eye on him, and he's under thirty k. As I said, if this was a gold card, like what is his gold card? His gold card is 2k. If this 84 was a gold card, let, let's look at his same team compatriot. Um, let's look at uh, Jose Calleon. High pace, high dribbling, good shooting and passing. When we look at um, Lozano, where's his 84 in here? It's not there. It's, it's similar, right? It's similar. It's not, it's not identical. Obviously, Lozano has... Uh, four-star skill moves. I don't know what Calleon has. He might be four-star, two-star, actually. Um, obviously, the pace is great. He's got decent stamina. I wouldn't touch his physicals with the chem style. His passing's terrible and his shooting's terrible. His dribbling's okay. I, I, I think a dead eye is going to have to be the one. You're going to need to boost that passing. Maybe a sniper. Maybe a sniper. Um, boost that dribbling up nicely. Boost that shooting up nicely and use him as a striker. Now, this is a cheap card. As I say, I, I think, I personally think, if this was just a gold card on the market, he'd be under 10k without any shadow of a doubt, right? Uh, when you even think about um, what you get out of Dembele, Dembele's 84, I believe, is under 10k. Well, it's 12k. Uh, and he's 5-star, five 5-star, five uh, with arguably better links and arguably better base stats. You know, you put a dead eye or a sniper on him and you're getting like a quality card out of that as well. Um, so I, I do think it's like, it, it's high priced, it's high valued, but I know people, I know people do value the, um, image, right? As crazy as that is, um, the fact that it's an upgrade, I wonder what it means for this. I wonder what it means for his ones to watch, because if EA put his next in form as an 86, because he has an 84 Futmus card, that means his ones to watch, which is only 19k could go immediately up to an 86. If however, um, they put it as an 84. I don't know what that would mean for his ones to watch. But yeah, th this card's tricky. I think a Maestro might be the uh, the one as well. You know, a Maestro makes him an 89 cam. I, I think because of how cheap it is for the Futmus card and for what you might want to potentially use him for in the future, this might be worth a punt. If you have a Serie A squad, it might be worth a punt. If, you have, if you're a Mexican fan, I'm, I'm sure Castro is going to love to do this. Um, it might be worth the punt, but... I think of the two, I think Sanchez offers more usability uh, than Lozano. I think there are so many quality attackers and wingers in the game anyway. But I also know that with it being this cheap, people will just jump at the chance to do it anyway. So I think a lot of you guys are going to do this, in which case I think your two chem styles that you're probably going to want to apply are either going to be Maestro or Deadeye. Um, if I was using him as a cam or an outside cam, which is probably where I'd like to use him, that pace, that shooting, that passing, because he's already got high agility... Um, I, I think that's the chem style I would use for him, uh, would be a dead eye. And then last but not least, I just want to have a look at that, um, that, uh, play playable player. I can't remember what his name is. Uh, Bool Yala. Um, he links perfectly to, okay, so his card's not here yet. 
He's been given 12 pace. Jesus Christ, 17 shooting, 13 passing, 16 physical, 12 defending, and 12 dribbling. I rate those upgrades. I really do. Um, let's go. Obviously, you can see there his card isn't uh, in on Futbin just yet. So let's go into the squad section and go and get him as a concept because he perfect links to a towel. So if you did a towel, um, yeah, he, he's he's there because of the Algerian link. Or maybe strong links. Is a towel from uh, Mets as well? I don't know. Um, let's have a look for him. Uh, Bull. Ooh, liar. Ooh, liar. There we go. So uh, let's have a look at his concepts and hope that he's in concepts. There you go. I mean, look at that upgrade, man. The upgrade is massive. What is it? He's five star skills. Wow. Four star, five star. That's fantastic. Four star weak foot, five star skill moves. Now, this is a card. Now, you got to do dead eye on this guy as well. Good pace. Shot power and long shots are great. Positioning is very good. Finishing needs that boost of dead eye, that plus 15. Passing's quite good, nice and well-rounded. Um, maybe, maybe you need a little boost on the passing, which again is where the dead eye comes from. Uh, stamina is quite nice, and his agility and balance combination are good. His ball control and dribbling are very good as well. This is a quality, quality card for how easy it is to to achieve. I think that's a big win. I think EA have done a good job on that, and and I think the Futmus cards in general, other than Delph, I don't think Delph was very good. Um, but I think Santi Cazorla with the five star, five star, uh, is nice. Um, I think, um, who else did we have? People were, people were theorizing that Gabriel Jesus was going to come. Um, but yeah, this guy's high, medium, four star, five star. Just great. I, I like this a lot. Uh, you, you might want to boost his dribbling. I, I wish we could have him on uh, Futbin so that we could see what he looks like with certain chem stars, but he's just not popping up just yet. Oh, there he is. He's there now. Are his stats in? No, his stats aren't in, which means he's probably coming in. Um, so we'll hold tight for a minute and, and have a look at the chem stars. But yeah, that is a quality, quality card. And again, with regards to the French League, there are so many players that you could have got or could already have from the French League um, that he he is a big win. I think that's one of the better pl players that we've had available so far. There's some rare players packs. I've got a few FIFA points. So whilst we wait for Footbin to update uh, Boulaya's stats, they are there now. We'll open 150k pack. Let's see what we get. We get ourselves just a board. Is it going to be a good board? No, it's not. It's German. So what is that? Urzil, Goretzka, something like that. What are you saying, EA? Uh, wow, Max Cruz. Happy days. Um, so here you go with uh, Bulaya. Sniper does good for him. I think Deadeye does better. Yes, Deadeye is definitely the one. Really good passing. Brilliant shooting. Decent pace with high agility and balance. Good ball control and dribbling. Very good, obviously. A decent stand, five star, four star. That's a big win, man. That is a big win. I think that's a good card, and I am going to complete. Um, I am going to complete. I think both of today's cards are probably worth it. You know, they're probably just worth that little punt. Why not? Um, so, let me know what you guys think. I'm not going to complete them on here unless you want to see it walk out. I suppose. Let me go and get the. Uh, let me go and get the Renato Sanchez right now because he's he's the one that I definitely would do. I, I I personally don't think Lozano is great value. I just know that a lot of people are going to think Lozano is great value because of the, the common perception that he's like an insane card. Um, I know he's had insane cards over the years, but this year I don't think he's quite there. And I don't think that card is necessarily great value. Um, but I, as I say, I know a lot of people are going to be like, this is a you know this is a good card for me. And so if it is a good card for you, fair enough. Um, but I personally think it's not, it's just not, it's just not top tier. Um, so I would steer clear of, uh, Lozano, unless you just want a Futmus card, you know, he's nice and cheap for an SBC. You'll get some value back from him as an 84 rated card, whether that's him coming in as, you know, an, an eight to 10 K 84, or maybe, you know, in the future, a kind of like a, I don't know, a four to three K 84, you'll get some value back out of him from that. Um, but other than that, yeah, I'm not, I'm not overly sure that he's super valuable, but, uh, with Bulaya, get on him straight away. I think that's a quality card. And with, um, with, uh, what's his name? This guy, Renato Sanchez, get on him straight away as well. I think that's a quality card. I think you guys would do well to add those two into your team. Uh, we're going to just build this 82 rate Premier League squad, and then we're just going to find whatever, um, player is that we need to get the chemistry from here so let's pop him in there let's pop him in there let's get him over there 
Uh, let's pop him up top there. That's 77 chemistry. So we're way over on the chemistry. Oh, I took out, uh, I suppose I need an inform from the French League. That'd be super helpful. I don't think I have one. Let's see what, see what we've got. I'll have Depay. I'm definitely not using Depay. Uh, we have Slimani. I just know that that's not going to give me the rating that I need. It's only an 82 rated. So let's go for a few more Premier League players. Um, who do I have? 87, uh, 87 Bernardo Silva, I think, will be enough for us to uh, just finish this one off right here. Uh, and that will obviously finish off the video as well. Let's pop him in there. There you go, 83 rated. So Renato Sanchez, again, today, Renato Sanchez, French League. Bulaya, French League. Atal, if you've done him, French League. If you've got Neymar and Mbappe, Di Maria, uh, Edison Cavani, uh, Cesc Fabregas flashback, Player of the Month, Thiago Silva, Road to the Final, um, uh, is it, it's not, uh, Marquinhos Road to the Final, there are so many quality French League players. Um, I think Renato Sanchez, what is his price point? 35K, something like that? 35, maybe 40K? Yeah, 35K for Sanchez and like 25 to 30K for Lozano. Why not do them both? Why not? You've got one more day of Futmas uh, to come for tomorrow. That's going to be the end of the video for today. If you did enjoy it, be sure to leave a like, rate, and comment, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. But for now, guys, I'm out. Peace.